530, you can run, but you can't hide. That's the message from law enforcement to fugitives in Newport News. This morning, teams of officers set out to round up wanted criminals, and some of these men and women are dangerous. So police went prepared for anything. And 10 on your side rode along to catch it all on tape. Police department. Armed with guns and file folders. Yes. A scar it looks like a scar. The object is to round up as many fugitives as possible in two days. But at this point, we have over 4,400 warrants. These are the faces of a few of the fugitives thereafter, wanted for everything from robbery and drugs to embezzlement and identity theft. It can be a game of cat and mouse. Good morning, Newport News Police. How are you, ma'am? Does the gentleman live here? A lot of the addresses are not good addresses for the people on the warrants. Others are good. Are you, you his mom? Just not today. Okay, ma'am, thank you. We'll just come in and check his bedroom. Is he upstairs? We tagged along for a dozen door knocks. <laughs> and turned up nothing. These warrant operations are never a waste of time. Here's why she says that. Last time they did one of these roundups, police cuffed 110 fugitives. Just because maybe nobody was arrested in your particular team doesn't mean that the other teams didn't make arrests or they'll be arrested this evening as well. If history is any indication, she says this will be a success too. Since 2004, these events have generated crime line tips that do lead to arrest, if not today. All right, ma'am, thank you very much. It's All right, you. Then someday, very soon. And as it turns out, other teams have arrested 24 people so far today. Attending your site also learned that since 2004, police have arrested more than 1,300 people as a direct result of the warrant operations.